Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get your Conquer menu page from looking something like this to something like this, and how to get your Conquer Market page from looking something like this to something like this. What's going on, Pack? It's Quacky here, and today we're going to talk about custom CSS and how to get your Conquer menu to have different fonts, colors, and more. If you guys do find this video to be helpful, then please be sure to drop a like, as well as subscribing with post notifications on, that way you guys never miss an upload. Also, if you have any additional questions, I do stream live every single day at twitch.tv slash quacky. A link will be down below. Also, if you guys do plan on purchasing KR for Season 3, be sure to use credit code quacky. It would mean a lot. Anywho, let's get right into the video. So this method of CSS modification will only work on Chromium based browsers via the Conquer Resource Swapper extension. If you guys have never used that before, I do have a video talking about how to set that up. Please watch that video first before you continue this video. Now to all of you guys out there that have no idea what a CSS file is, a CSS file is better known as a cascading style sheet. It basically is what we're going to use to alter the appearance of Conquer and make it look pretty, change the colors of it and change the overall appearance. Now before we dwell any further, we will need a few files first from the game. We will need a main.css, a social.css, and a main underscore custom.css. Fortunately enough, I already do have these in my Discord server, which will be linked down below. Or alternatively, you can go actually into the game itself, F12, inspect element, go down to the drop down of Kronker.io, drop down to CSS, and you'll see a file called main.css and main underscore custom.css. Just right click and save those to your desktop. And then the same thing, go to the market page, inspect element, go to the drop downs, find the social.css and save that to your desktop as well. All right, so now let's get into editing the CSS. All right, now I want you guys to go ahead and just load up Krunker. So just type in Krunker.io here. Now off the rip, you may see it's a totally different font, like Times New Roman, instead of the default font, it's totally normal. We'll change that in just a second. Now it is best to load up a custom game with infinite time while you're customizing the CSS. That way you just don't lose any progress you've made so far while editing anything. Now in order to get those menu icons to show up on Krunker again, we will need to open up a resource swapper folder, navigate the IMG menu-icons, and I want you guys to go ahead and paste all those menu icons I have in the Discord. So you're gonna have all these here, and I want you guys to refresh to make sure it all shows up again. So as you can see, we have all of our menu icons here on the left hand side. Now the next thing I want to do is actually bring back those social buttons at the top right of the screen. In order to do that, we just need to go back into the IMG folder that we had. So Conquer Resource Swapper, IMG, and then social buttons. I want you guys to go ahead and get those social icons back, paste it back in there like this. This will be in my Discord as well, if you do need them. And I want you guys to go ahead and give the game a refresh just to confirm that those buttons are back where they should be. And as you can see, we do have those buttons back up there. If you guys do want to change the color of these buttons, you do have to actually have Photoshop or GIMP or use photop.com in order to add the colors and make them look as whatever you please. You can actually use any image you want. You just have to make sure the images are the same name as the current menu icons. Now the last image we need to bring back onto the home page is the logo. Now you guys can actually use any image you want as the logo. Just make sure it's called logo underscore 2.png, that's very important. And then from there, you just want to navigate to the same IMG folder where the merch PNG is and just paste it right in here like this. And then I want you guys to give the game a refresh just to confirm that it is working. And as you can see now, our logo is now loaded into Krunker. Now let's talk about putting any font you want into Krunker. Now I actually really like the font called Poppins. It's a pretty popular font. In order to get the TTF file that we will need for this, I want you guys to just Google like Poppins font download or whatever font name you want download. You guys don't want to find it anywhere you want. Fonts at google.com is pretty good for this. And then from here, we just want to find a font that we want to use. This bold one looks pretty good. We can click select this style. We can click download family as well. And we'll get the full zip file of all the files that we'll need. Just find one of the TTFs that you'd like to use here and just have it ready. Now the next step is very important. Once you guys have that TTF file that you want to use for your font and Krunker, you guys want to make four copies of it and make sure they're all the same names that I have here. So you want one that's called font one, one that's called font two, one that's called font four, and one that's called header. I then want you guys to copy all these four files here like this, control C it. I want you guys to navigate to your Kunker Resource Swapper folder. Go to CSS, go to Fonts, that folder that we just made from earlier, and paste those four files in here just like this. Now, if we refresh our Kunker, 
our custom font is now loaded in just like this as you can see when it's all loaded in everything on our home page has that font that we wanted all right so now let's talk about changing the menu button colors so let's say i want to make all five of my menu buttons orange in order to do that i want you guys to press f12 on the keyboard to inspect element I want you guys to click on select an element in the page to inspect it. So just click the button right here. I want you guys to hover over the buttons that you guys want to edit like this. There's going to be a bit of code here, but don't be alarmed. Scroll down a bit until you see the, this dot button P right here, this code right here. You guys see this little color box, click on it. And whatever color you guys choose here, it's going to change how it looks at the bottom left here on the host game button. So we want to make it orange. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the slider to make it orange. I'll say right about here looks good for me. So from here, if you guys are happy with how it looks, you guys can go ahead and just, oh, another thing as well is you guys can change a button shadow as well. So if you guys do want to change this, you guys will need to learn the color hex codes, which I will have a link for those all down below. But if I want to make it white, for example, the hex code for that is FFFFFF. As you guys can see, I have a white box shadow and an orange button. So now in order to save our changes that we made to this specific button, we will need to copy the code from this. So I want you guys to go ahead and click and drag from this bottom bracket all the way up to the dot button P where it begins. Control C that and just navigate to your main customs CSS file in notepad and just paste that in and click file save. Now from here, all I guys want you to do is just refresh and just make sure that that button is indeed there. So as you can see now, we do have that button. So now let's just go ahead and repeat the process here with the rest of these buttons. So we're gonna F12, click the button to inspect, hover over the button that we wanna edit, scroll down a bit, and then we see button R, click that. And the cool thing is we can actually just use the cursor here and just select the same color that we had before. This makes life a lot easier. And with the box shadow, we can just make it FFFFFF just like this. So now we have that. Click and drag the code. Control C. Notepad. Control V. File save. Now when we refresh the game, both of those buttons should now be edited. As you can see, now we have those two buttons. So let's keep going. F12, inspect. Let's do the ranked button now. Scroll down, button G. Click the color button right here, the color box. Get that same color that you want or a different color, up to you. And then we'll do that FFF, FFF again. And you guys will want to click and drag that code again like this. Control C it. Go to your main custom. And Control V it just like this. The spacing and everything is important. File save. Refresh. And the rank button's there. And let's do the invite and join buttons now. Scroll down a bit until we see dot button. It is a bit different for these two. Scroll down here, just like that. Box shadow, it's gonna be a bit different as well. Just use the same white color like this. And now we have the invite and join buttons there. So now I want you guys to do, it's just get that button code from right there. All of this. I want you guys to control C that. And control V it into your main custom CSS like this. Refresh the page and make sure it's all there and working. And as you can see now, all of our buttons now are orange with white accents on them. Now let's say, well, I don't like those buttons to be so rectangular. Let's make them a bit more circular. If you guys do want to change that, you just want to go to the dot button code that we changed just before. You guys want to look for something called border radius and just up the pixel count of it. So if you make a border radius of four from four to 16 and save that, if we refresh the game, all of our buttons should look much more rounded now. Now, as you can see, our button's like way more rounded. We can even go even further with this. We could probably double it. So we could probably go 32 on this. So file save, refresh. And this works for any element that has a border radius on it. So if you want it to make anything look more rounded, just go to it and edit the border radius and add a higher pixel count to it. And it'll make your buttons look much more rounded and makes it look a bit cleaner. Now, if you guys want to take this a step further, you can actually use this to edit the server menu selection screen or the host game screen. 
is use the knowledge that you learned just before. So you can F12 this, for example. And you can actually just, uh, you made this more transparent if you'd wanted to. So you just go to background color here, and you can just lower the transparency just like this, and you can see more of the background while you're editing. And just make sure every time you guys are making any edits like this, just make sure that you have all this code here highlighted, copied, and pasted into your main custom just like this every single time. So we can edit the button colors as well. Background color, we can make it orange, make the same orange just like that. And just make sure yet again, you have this highlighted and you have this in your main custom CSS file, just like this. Make sure you always save your work while you're going through this and just get it to how you want it. So now that we've covered the main.css part, AKA the homepage, let's transition over to the Krunker market or the social.css part and look at that a little bit further. Okay, so now in order to get started, we will need that social.css file. So I want you guys to go ahead and navigate to that, which should be just in your CSS folder right here in your resource swapper. So just open that up. And then from here, if it looks like a big blob of text, uh, one thing I recommend doing is Googling a CSS beautifier, copying all the code from that text document into that beautifier, click beautify, and it should make all your code look much neater and much tidier. So this makes your life easier. So if you haven't done that already, be sure to do that. Okay, the biggest one I wanna cover is changing the background image of the market. Now in order to do that, or for example, I'm gonna use this duck image right here that I upload to Discord. The biggest thing you guys are gonna want is just the link to the image right here, this Discord link. Go ahead and copy that link that you have or whatever link you have that goes to an image. I want you guys to go to your social.css just right here. And you guys are gonna see in the body tag right here, a background image URL. Replace this textures wall PNG with that link that you guys wanna use. And this is very important as well. In the background size, make sure you edit it to the same image dimensions as the image that you want. In my instance, it's 1920 by 1080. And I want you guys to go ahead and just file, save that. Go ahead and refresh your game. And as you can see now, I have a cute little duck as my background image. Now let's go ahead and edit one more thing here. Let's go ahead and just make these a bit more rounded. They kind of look a bit square. Let's go ahead and round them up a bit. So I just want to F12 here really quick. And we're gonna go right here. It's very important that you memorize the name of the code right here they're going to edit. So we're going to be editing dot market card here. So from here, I want you guys to go ahead and find that border radius from earlier, just like this. And just go ahead and up it to like, I don't know, 32 perhaps. And yeah, that looks a lot more rounded now. I'm happy with that. And let's go ahead and change the background color. So let's make it a, make it even be like a nice white and a bit more transparent maybe. Something like this. Once you guys are happy with how that looks, go ahead and copy all this code here, just like this. And I want you guys to go into that social CSS, go to edit and find, make sure wraparound's on just in case and search for that market card code or just type in market card. You guys should find it pretty easily. Looks like the same code here. So go ahead and just highlight this and just control V to replace the old code with the new code. Click file save. And if we refresh the game, there we go, everything's rounded now and everything's much more transparent in a slightly different color. And there you have it, Pack. How to edit the CSS and Krunker.io to make it however you want, changing the fonts, colors, styling, anything you really want. If you guys did find this video be helpful at all, then please be sure to drop a like, as well as subscribing to the channel with post notifications on. I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys learned a lot here today. Hope you guys are hyped for season three. I'll see you all in the next one.